Wow, that little joker is loud, isn't it? Man, let's try that again. Kind of rattled my cage a little bit there, didn't it? I might have to double up on my ear pro a little bit. Fugly is very loud. Wait a minute. This isn't fugly. This is a miniaturized version of fugly in 22 long rifle. I tricked y'all. It wasn't really that loud. This is how loud it really is. Now it's still kind of loud. Okay, but it's not as loud as what you just heard. All right, here's the real mini fugly re recoil and report. I was just trying to pull y'all's chain a little bit. All right, here we go. <laughs> we don't have a suppressor on this one, but it's still neat. Let's have some fun with this little guy today. You know, the internet and the gun community at large has a love-hate relationship with this rifle. Um, this is our Fugly, and this is a 10 and a half inch barrel M9130. It's got an AAC 51 tooth adapter, and we run AAC STN6 on this. Now we're gonna run it loud just to show you how obnoxious this thing is. It's got a top rail, collapsible stock. You know, it's just, just a quirky gun. This one is in 7.62 by 54. The Mini is in 22 long rifle. I'm going to show you the difference. Here's a uh, 54R. Okay. Here's Keystone's miniaturized version of the Fugly in 22 long rifle. Much better in terms of uh, <laughs> recoil, noise, and how cute is that? Look how tiny she is. This is something that Keystone mocked up. You know, uh, they have their M9130 Mini. You guys might be familiar with that particular rifle. It's a miniaturized version of the uh, famous World War II Russian infantry rifle. Of course, ours is famous for a different reason uh, because it's interesting, maybe, depending on who you are. They decided to make a miniaturized version of this rifle just because it would be a fun experiment. It's got an eight inch barrel. Uh, these will probably wind up having a threaded uh, barrel, I would imagine. That way you can run your small suppressors on it if you'd like for a 22. But uh, it's literally a scale replica, <laughs> scaled down version of Fugly. How cool is that? All right, so for our first uh, thing we're gonna do today, I've got a rather exciting shot. See what I did there. We're going to shoot a row of eggs with the Fugly here. And, and hopefully the military surplus gods are on my side. And we're going to be able to make this round go through every single one of those eggs down there. Okay? Here we go. All right, something happened. We'll have a look. Okay, we got a pretty good shot on the eggs. It looks like the round kind of veered out after about number five or six. Not too bad. We're going to switch to some chocolate eggs to see if it's more exciting. I know I'm a cornball. This has been a cornball filled video, but that's all right. All right, we're going to try this again. This thing is so tiny, vicious. Oh, these eggs are even smaller. All right, we're gonna try again. I think I missed. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> we hit something there. So in case you guys are wondering, this actually is a pistol version of the Cricket that's done up into uh, fugly fashion. 
So this is not a short barreled rifle, this is a handgun. All right, so our chocolate egg shot looked pretty good. Those came apart nice. Now we're gonna do some hard boiled eggs that have been peeled. I don't know why, I'm, I'm just in the mood to shoot eggs. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're using CCI mini mags here, all right? Here we go. <laughs> I think the same thing might have happened there. We're going to move on to some other fun targets. Uh, earlier I was shooting uh, you know, just a few shots on the steel. It looks like they're at about 50 yards holding uh, probably about a two or three inch group with a red dot. That's not too bad. We'll take a few shots here, have a little bit of fun, find something else to get into. Let's do it. All right, so we were looking around at the uh, local purveyor of Chinese goods and we found these like goo goo eyes things. Like you squeeze them, I don't know, it's like a little kid's toy, but they're like, these eyes are looking at me and they're, they got this weird goo inside of them and we're gonna shoot them because I wanna shoot them. You guys uh, really should see the looks that people give me when I'm checking out at Walmart. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right, we're gonna take out the eyeball on the left and then the one on the right. Actually, I ain't doing nothing to put my ears on. Because remember, just because she's tiny, she's still fugly. Still loud. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we had a little goo come out there. It's not too bad. I wasn't sure what these things would do. One thing I can tell you is this little guy is accurate. <laughs> you know, the weird thing is, is when we built the original Mosin, you know, the original Fugly, everybody was shocked at how accurate it was with the little short barrel. And the same thing holds true with this particular keystone here is, we're so shocked at how accurate this little guy is with that short rigid barrel, it shoots so good. We're gonna take it out to a little bit longer ranges, have a little bit of fun on some steel, and we'll figure out some other cool things to shoot as the day goes on. All right, so before we launch out to some steel, We've got a peep army on our hands and we're gonna see if we can deal with it with the uh, tiny fugly here. Let's do it. <laughs> There's so little. <laughs> also realized that I don't have my ears on. That was loud, that's okay. We got one. I know one thing, this little uh, pistol is accurate. Oh man, it must be the fugly lineage. It's just so, so accurate. There we go. <laughs> we sent a peep flying. How about that?
All right, two more peeps, and we're moving on to some steel. <laughs> All right, one last peep. He moved a little bit. All right, one last shot. Here we go. Okay. Let's shoot a few pieces of steel here. All right, we're gonna group a couple of rounds at 50 and then we might pop a few tracers out to 100 just for fun uh, with the little mini fugly here. CCI mini mags. I'm just gonna go center mass on that gong right there and kind of see what happens here. It's accurate. Not bad at all for such a tiny little barrel on this pistol. All right, I've got another gong over here. Take a few shots on it. Real accurate. Look at that group. Great group. All right, so we know it's grouping well. I'm just gonna take out a couple of poppers here at uh, 50. Got our gopher down there. How about some headshots on the uh, D28 at 50 there? Real accurate, <laughs> needs a suppressor. Okay, now we're gonna launch in some tracers at 100 just for fun. See what we can get done here. These are uh, Piney Mountain tracers. I don't believe these tracers are in production anymore. We had a stash of them, thought we'd shoot a few, so let's do it. Yeah, they're not terribly accurate, but they're fun because they're tracers.
I could sit here and do this all day, but this little guy is running exceptionally well. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. This has been the Mini Fugly and 22 Long Rifle from Keystone Sporting Arms. Definitely not something you see every day. Check them out if this is something you think you want. Pretty interesting little concept. It's uh, kind of strange to think that our little Fugly Mosin has created almost a uh, cult following all of its own regard. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, thanks very much. We hope you enjoyed it. I want to take a moment to definitely thank all of our Patreon supporters, those of you who uh, purchase man cans. If you buy t-shirts or merch over on the website, all of those funds go right directly back into supporting our channel. We really appreciate you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.